brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the cooling fans in a 2005 Cadillac CTS. This information is going to be the same from 2005 to 2007 in both 2.8 and 3.6 liter models. The items you'll need are a new radiator fan assembly from 1AAuto.com, a 10 millimeter socket, ratchet, and extension, Phillips and flathead screwdrivers, pliers and side cutters, as well as a pick tool. Remove the oil fill cap, pop the engine cover off, reinstall your oil fill cap to make sure that nothing falls in there while you're working. Use a flat blade screwdriver to loosen the clamp holding the intake tube to the intake manifold at the throttle body. Remove the electrical connector to the MAF sensor. Move the connector out of the way. Disconnect the PCV breather at the back of the intake tube. With a flat or Phillips head screwdriver, loosen the two screws at the top of the split in the air box. Pull back and release the air box from its clips. You may have to remove the air filter. Release this whole runner from the vehicle. Push down and release the electrical connector from the fan. Pop the clip out that holds the harness onto the fan shroud. Hang that out of the way. Do the same thing on the other side. Using a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet, remove the three bolts holding the other half of the air box into the engine bay. Lift up, disconnect the hose from the other half of the air box, and remove it from the vehicle. Remove the rubber insulation from under the air box. Remove this Phillips head screw from the side of the fan shroud. You may be able to get in there with a stubby Phillips head screwdriver, but we're going to use a Phillips bit and a small ratchet. Remove these three 10 millimeter bolts from the top of the radiator fans. Disconnect the retainer on the side of the fan shroud that secures the harness. Lift up, pull toward the driver's side to release the fan shroud from the retainers at the bottom. Pull the fans out through the driver's side to remove them from the vehicle. As you can see, our old part has the same three bolt mounting locations along the top, the same size fans with the same number of fins on both the old part and the new part. We have the same slotted mounting location at the bottom. They are the same dimensions, both height and width. Come with a new motor on the back with the same connectors on each side. A lot of times these fans can become seized up. The motors can short out or open and not function properly anymore. You can also have the little plastic fins break and come off balance creating a noise or a vibration as well as a deficiency in cooling. So if your old fans are broken or damaged in any way and creating a noise, vibration, or deficiency in cooling, 
And these new fans from 1A Auto are gonna go in, direct fit, just like your original equipment, and fix you up right. Reinstall the radiator fans into the vehicle. Be sure to line the bottom slots up with the tabs on the radiator. Reinstall the three 10 millimeter bolts into the top of the radiator. Tighten those bolts up with the 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. Reinstall the electrical connectors to each fan. Reinstall the plastic insulator for the air box. Reinstall the air box. Remember to connect the cooling line to the top. Reinstall the three 10 millimeter bolts. Tighten them down with a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. Reinstall the air filter into the air box. Reinstall the rest of the air box and the intake tube. Using a flat blade screwdriver, tighten up the screws to connect the two halves of the air box. Reconnect the electrical connector for the MAP sensor. Reinstall the boot onto the throttle body. Tighten down the clamp. Reinstall the cover for the upper radiator support. Reinstall the PCV breather line. Remove the oil cap. Snap the engine cover back into place. Reinstall the oil cap. Thanks for tuning in. We hope this video helped you out. Next time you need parts for your car, please visit 1AAuto.com. Also check out our other helpful how-to as well as diagnosis videos.